So this is uh, Math 88, Section 4.7. We're talking about direct variation. Now, direct variation, if I think about it on a graph, is just a line, that, a straight line that goes through 0, 0. So it's linear with a y-intercept of 0. So I know I can write you know, direct variation in the form y equals, we're used to saying mx plus b, but b is 0. So we could say y equals mx. We just don't typically use an m, we use a k instead, just for the constant of variation. But it's the same, same idea. So if I tell you that y equals 7x, this is a direct variation. Every time x increases by 1, y increases by 7. So if I think about a table for that, you can see that it goes through 0, 0, when x is 0, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 7. When x is 2, y is 14, and so on. When x is 3, 21. And so you can see that direct variation two ways. You can see it here. As this increases by 1, this is increases by 7. You can also see it here. 3 times 7 is 21. So there's some examples. So if I had a, uh, a table, and I'm just going to show you a table here. Um, whoops. There we go. My pen stopped for a sec. X and Y. And I had like 5, 7, 8, 9. Just those x values. So 5 is 75, 7 is 105, 8 is uh, 120, and 9 is 135. And I wanted to know if that's a direct variation or not. I can look at it a couple ways. One, one way I can analyze it is I could just do some division. So let me see. 75 divided by 5, uh, that's 15. Or 105 divided by 7, that's also 15. So notice if I do that every time here, I'll always get 15. That means that y is equal to 15 times x. This would be direct variation. Um, if I wanted to analyze it another way, more like the way that we typically analyze these types of tables, these linear tables, I might just go like, what's my change in x? It's 2. What's my change in y? 105 uh, minus 75 is 30. And remember, slope is change in y over change in x. So that would be 30 over 2 which is 15. And if I keep checking, and that's constant all the way down, if it always comes out to 15, same idea. So if I have a table, I can write my direct variation like this. Do a similar example. I'm just going to erase everything. So um, here's a table. It'll be like pounds of blueberries and the cost. So pounds and cost in dollars. And if I buy a 2, it's 11.98. 5 is 29.95. 7 is 41.93. 8 is 47.92. Uh, now you would expect uh, buying, buying blueberries to be a direct variation. And I say that because you usually don't have to pay an upfront fee to buy blueberries. You just pay per pound. So um, it, like there's no y-intercept. So there's a couple ways I could check this. One of them is I could just do some division. Uh, 11.98, that many dollars divided by 2 gives me 5.99. Oh, sorry. Or if I do that same thing here, 41.98. Oh, look at that. That's horrible. Sorry. Uh, divided by 7 also gives me 5.99. So that's one way I could go about doing this. And uh, that tells me it's 5.99 per pound. So the cost would be 5.99 for every pound of blueberry. Now I could do it that way. The other way that I could do it is I could um, look for a constant change in here, right? Like two up to five is three. Uh, 29.95 minus 11.98 is 
is something that I'm going to do on my calculator because I am terrifically lazy about it. 1797. Oops, 97. And then I do that division. Sorry, that should say 1797. Really sloppy. There we go. And I go 1797 uh, divided by 3. That gives me 599. It's always constant, so it's good. So there is uh, there's that. You can do it off a table. Notice if I were to graph this, it would always go through 0, 0. And this one would go over 1, up 599 each time. All right, there's some, some language I want to talk about, too. If I say something like um, y varies directly as x. So that tells me that x and y are in a direct uh, relationship. So that means that this sort of phrase right here, sometimes it says directly as x. Um, some will say directly to x. That, that word as will be used. Um, it'll have a couple of options. But this means that y is something times x. It means y and x are in this relationship. So it might tell you y varies directly as x when y equals 20, x equals 5. Okay, so when y equals 20, x equals 5. So we can figure out our model from that because when y is 20, something, oops, x is 5. So something times 5 would give me 20. That's a 4, so k would be 4. So if it tells me this, my equation would be y equals 4x. And then I could use it to figure out other values. Uh, let me do another, another example like that. Again, I'm going to go with y varies directly as x. And it's going to uh, tell me something like y is 19 when x is 8. And I want to write a model for it. I want to write the equation for it. So 19 equals k times 8. Divide both sides by 8. 19 eighths. Leave it as 19 eighths. Don't even turn it into a fraction. That's what, that's what k is. So my model would be y equals 19 eighths times x. Sometimes in this sort of situation, it'll ask you to like find another value. So it might say something like uh, p varies directly as q. And then uh, when P is 50, Q is 10. And then it might say, like, uh, if Q was 7, what would P be? So let's set this up. Uh, P varies directly as Q. When P is 50, Q is 10. Divide both sides by 10. So K must be 5. So that means my, my model would be p equals 10 times q. So when q is 7, p must be 70. All right, there's direct uh, variation. It's just like what you already know about linear equations. The only thing, the only caveat is that the y-intercept is 0.